Okay, today we're going to do some mole calculations, but this time when we're doing the mole calculations, we're going to use the factor label method. If you looked at the mole 1 video, what was done was a little shortcut in order to be able to answer the question. So you just use the mole city map in order to be able to get your answers. In this particular instance, we're going to use the factor label method. The first thing you want to do is look at how many moles and how many molecules are in 75 grams of hydrogen, water, and sulfuric acid. So, the first thing that we're going to do when we're looking at these questions is we're going to ask ourselves a, a question. So it says, how many moles of H2 is equal to 75 grams of H2? 75 grams come from what's giving and the way that we answer this question is we know that for every one mole of H2 we have two grams of H2. Grams of H2 cancel out and our answer is given to us in moles of H2 which would be 37.5 moles of H2. Now the question might be asked, but well, where did you get the two from? Well, you know from the periodic table that one atom of hydrogen is one, or 1.0078, depending on what periodic table you're looking at. And we have two of those, so one plus one gives us our two. We got the next question. How many moles of H2O is equal to 75 grams of H2O. So we do the same thing. We have our relationship. We know that for every one mole of H2O, I have 18 grams of H2O. Grams of H2O cancel out. 75 divided by 18 would give me 4.2 moles of H2O. Okay. Now, one of the things that I tried to show you guys earlier is that when you're looking at your relationships, your relationships can be in two ways. I can say I have one for every one mole of H2O. I have 18 grams of H2O or I could say forever for every 18 grams of H2O I have one mole of H2O. Both these relationships are equivalent. What's important is how you use the relationship. So in this particular instance I wanted to use this relationship moles of H2O to grams of H2O so that grams of H2O would cancel out. Whatever I have in the denominator would cancel out or whatever is in the numerator of what's being asked for. In this instance is this. So let's look at the next question. It says how many moles of H2SO4 is equal to 75 grams of H2SO4 and again I use my relationship I know that for every one mole of H2SO4 I have um, 98 sulfuric acid is um, 98 grams let me check it should be, I think we should have 98 grams of H2SO4, which would give us um, 0 0.77 moles of H2SO4. 
So sulfur is 32. Let me make, make sure my left weight is correct. Sulfur is 32 plus 16 times 4 equals 96 plus 2. All right, so we're right. So it's 98 grams of H2SO4. And again, grams of H2SO4 would cancel out. And our answer would give us, will be in moles of H2SO4. Let's look at the other side of this question. It says, how many molecules of H2 is equal to 75 grams of H2? So in this instance, we have to first convert from moles. We know that for every one mole, of H2, we have 2 grams of H2. Grams of H2 cancel out, and if we stop at this particular point, our answer would be in moles. But we don't want our answer in moles, we want our answer in molecules. And we know that for every 1 mole of H2, we have 6.02 times 10 to 23rd molecules. C-U-L-E-S of H2, which would give us an answer of 2.3 times 10 to 25 molecules of H2. What about the second one? The second problem would be done exactly the same way. How many molecules? of H2O is equal to 75 grams of H2O. Take our 75 grams of H2O, convert it into moles. We know that for every one mole of H2O, we have 18 grams of H2O. And then we also know that for every one mole of H2O, we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, which this here would be equal to 2.5 times 10 to the 24 molecules of H2O. Now, if you did this again with sulfuric acid, the number of molecules that you would have for sulfuric acid would be 4.6 times 10 to the 23rd molecules.